hello welcome back viewers uh, this is our index file you can see just it has a hello world text very simple and this is our folder our main folder e-commerce inside that we have a, a folder uh, images called images inside that I have just put two images which we will use uh, for the header of this uh, website layout one is add banner and one is just logo and I have done this thing nothing else now we will work inside here inside the source code the index.php very simply we will remove this hello world text that was just a testing text control s to save now come back to the browser refresh so there is no text now we will just work further inside this file the first thing is to create a D div tag and name it i mean uh, container this is the main container in html we always use div tags i mean uh, division tags in order to create a website layout so basically what we do to create the divisions to uh, divide the section the different sections of the layout so this is basically the main whole container uh, div i will add an attribute class to it uh, that will be equal to main underscore wrapper that's fine we'll create this class later on this is basically a CSS class which we can add to an HTML tag so this is basically our main div tag I mean division tag and the whole uh, this will hold the whole layout uh, we have inserted this inside the body tag the body tag is above this now inside the div I mean the main wrapper we will just simply create a variable so uh, insert a div one more div tag and we will write inside it something like uh, this is header I mean header section and after that we will add another one this is menu bar menu bar menu bar will be basically the links for menu bar will be a and another one will be this is content area and inside here create another one this is sidebar and below that we'll create one more this is the footer so basically when you are creating a website layout there are simply six div division tags inside which you can insert all the other tags html tags and html elements in css styles and things like that so we have this main uh, main wrapper or main container which we have closed just below here at, uh, before the body tag the closing body tag and inside that uh, main wrapper we have five more I mean div division takes so which every uh, division take has its own uh, section this is header this is menu bar this is sidebar and things like that so we can put all the header code over here and all the menu bar uh, code over here that's very simple now in order to uh, win now we will save this just go and save all come to our browser refresh the page so you will see simple text over here this is header this is menu bar and this is sidebar etc but we need to actually uh, use CSS to style up these sections so simply create CSS file by using control N and write something and after that save it by control s using control s and inside the style folder styles folder you can see over here in the main folder e-commerce we'll save this inside the styles folder its name will be style.css style.css the css is the extension for this file so we have created this and this is empty now the first thing we must do is to go to google and simply write CSS reset code CSS reset code is basically that code uh, which we use uh, for I mean which we use for 
resetting the default code or default styles implemented by the browser because every browser has uh, some default CSS styles so we need to reset them just write CSS reset code and you will find many websites providing this code for you we'll just click this one the first one we'll open it in a new tab all the CSS reset codes are the you know similar similarly like same so just I will copy this whole code from here to here and we'll leave the body etc just we'll come back and we'll paste it here this is very simple I mean uh, this will simply reset the default styles applied on the documents or the web pages by the browser so we just simply need to remove this font size and font inherit these two property are not required the other all things are required basically we actually need to assign the margin 0 padding 0 border 0 these properties in order to make all the styles default I mean to remove the default styles applied by the browser itself in some HTML file for all browsers HTML default files after this we can just start writing our code so the first thing is we will write for the body the body tag for the body tag we will just write uh, something like uh, background color background will be you know sky blue sky blue color so I will make some space over here you can see we have written body and inside two curly brackets we have said background uh, colon and sky blue and then semicolon so this is basically the syntax for writing CSS styles this is the very simple CSS uh, I mean CSS syntax you basically can target any HTML tag directly uh, in CSS and this is basically called selector HTML selector in CSS so we have just said body body is an element of the HTML page and we said its background color will be sky blue we can add more properties like uh, you know font size you can write font uh, underscore size and we can assign another value like that but for body we just need background sky blue and this two square brackets actually is the syntax of CSS control S to save now we need to include this file or attach this file to this index HTML file so then it will work or here and this is basically uh, we will be using this this file as external CSS file so come over here in before the closing head tag you can insert a tag called link uh, this is a link tag a single tag which we always use to import or to uh, attach other files JavaScript files or CSS files to this document we will say relation rel relation of this file is style sheet and uh, a harap hyper references styles style.php this means where is the folder the path we are giving that there is a folder called style uh, styles and backslash inside that folder we have a file style.php basically we are talking about this folder styles inside that we have a file style.css so simply uh, after that just say media media all that's mean for all kind of devices this CSS file will be applied on all kind of devices simply save all because you have we have included this and this will now apply or this whole page so we have given simply the body a color background color sky blue so now if we come to this or this page e-commerce so 
<coughs> there should be a different color <coughs> for the body. Let's refresh the page. <coughs> the color is not there actually. Styles is the folder name. Styles that oh sorry dot css not dot php. I have given a wrong name over here. The extension of the file is style dot css not dot php. Once again, save all. Come here, press the page, and you see this is now sky blue color. So that's very simple. We have created the CSS file as well and have added background color to this body. Now the main thing is to create style styles, add styles inside this uh, style dot CSS file for this for all the sections to make it beautiful and to complete this layout that we will be doing in next video tutorial stay tuned